Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 57. So I'm quite open with my family about being a flat earther and on the whole they'll all debate flat earth with me and give me their globe proofs so I can knock them off one at a time and give them um, the flat earth debunk video or whatever it is that sort of relates to their point of view or whatever it is that's still proving they're on a globe to them. Now my brother has been very against flat earth in general because I think both him and his wife like to be well researched and they've both just you know, obviously had a couple of kids, one very recently and they're not in any mood or uh, have had anywhere near enough sleep to sort of debate it logically with me. But today for the first time again with them very tired I managed to weasel out of them what it was that was still proving to them that they were on a globe. Um, and this was it, so the Foucault pendulum which is behind me has, has a few interesting things that go on with it and the first is that as you get closer to the equator it spins slower. The second being that it will completely go nuts or change the very predictable nature that it runs at when there's a solar eclipse. Now Robin Poe explained some of the electromagnetic theory to me and if you've got an amplifier that you can look inside, inside that amplifier you will see something called a toroidal transformer. Now a toroidal transformer, to give you an idea of its shape, is, is in the shape of a donut. Now if that was emanating electromagnetic forces, the sun, moon and stars, potentially just being lights in the sky, could all balance on those and rotate in the way that they would rotate if you tied that with some of the anti-gravity theories, again, that we see using electromagnetic forces to levitate things. So the sun, moon and stars are obviously spinning around us if we're on the flat Earth, and there's nothing to say that the Foucault pendulum doesn't work on the same principles. Also, given that when there's an interruption in the potential electromagnetic forces, we see anomalies like solar eclipses, which are definitely not explained using the heliocentric model, that you could say that this thing is obviously affected by the same forces that turn our sun, moon and stars. So it's not a conclusive debunking because in many ways you could argue that if it was proved we were on a globe this could tie into the logic behind it but given that Wikipedia will tie it to the Coriolis effect which has been systematically debunked by the flat earth community you can happily say that this isn't running on the effects that Wikipedia would tell you it's running on it's definitely not a proof of the globe um, and it's got too many crazy anomalies that seem to tie in nicely with the electromagnetic theory of how our sun moon and stars work so that's my way of saying the Foucault pendulum definitely does not prove we're on a globe. The Earth is flat, I've been Nathan Oakley and I'll see you all in the next video.